Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at this CPA simulation that deals with the selling of assets, machinery, forklift, and a vehicle for a business. Those assets are section 1231 assets. That means they are used in a business and they are held more than one year. Also, what you need to know about these assets, they are personal property asset, machinery, forklift, vehicle. Therefore, we are dealing with section 1245 assets. So we're selling section 1245 assets and we need to know how to treat section 1245 assets, whether we have a gain or a loss. So the question is this, determine the amount and the character of the recognized gain or loss for the disposition of each asset. I already told you there's section 1245 assets. So you could be giving something like this in, in a CPA simulation where you have to if I have a drop down box, tell me about the gain or the loss, how much of it is taxable, how much of it is not taxable, so on and so forth. And what type of what type of character is it ordinary capital or capital gain? Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. The first thing you have to do when you are giving a problem like this is to figure out the adjusted basis because you are giving the cost of the asset, the machine we held for four years, the cost and the depreciation of the asset of 80,000 and you are giving the selling price. So the first thing is you want to find out is the adjusted basis. So the adjusted basis for the machinery is 120 the cost minus accumulated depreciation we have the adjusted basis of 40,000 now you're going to compare the adjusted basis to how much you sold it you sold it for 50 50 minus 40 will give us a gain of 10 dollars we'll come back to that gain let's take a look at the forklift the cost was 50 the accumulated depreciation was 25 therefore the adjusted basis is 25 we sold it for nine well nine minus 25 here we have a loss and the loss is for if my math is right it should be uh, 16,000 this this is a loss a loss of 16,000 the third asset the vehicle we held it for three years we have a cost of 98 accumulated depreciation of 32 an adjusted basis of 66 we sold it at 40,000 minus adjusted basis of 66 we also have a loss of 26,000. So we have a gain, a loss, and a loss. The question is, how are we going to, how are we going to treat the gain and the losses? So we treat the gain. Well, here's what we have to do. The gain is 10,000 on the machinery, but here's what you have to do with the machinery. Well, you're going to say this is a bucket and this is zero. And this is, I sold the asset for uh, the cost of this asset is 120. And I already have accumulated depreciation for this asset of 80,000. So all of this is accumulated depreciation. This is the 80,000. Now I sold this asset and I generated a gain of 10,000. Well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to compare the gain to the depreciation taken of 80,000. And guess what? The gain is less than the depreciation. What does that mean? It means all the gain is recaptured gain and as a result it's treated as ordinary gain so this additional gain of 10,000 is treated as ordinary income not capital gain not capital gain why because it's less than the depreciation taken now let's assume just for the sake of illustration I sold this asset rather than rather than 10,000 rather than how much I sold it for rather than 50 let's assume I sold it for 90 if I sold this asset for 90 I'm gonna take 90,000 so I sold it here and the reason I'm showing you this is to show you that I sold it right here if I sold it at 90,000 if I sold it at 90,000 I compared the 90,000 to the accumulated depreciation of 40 and that's gonna give me gain of 50 
So notice, this is the gain for 50. I compare it to my accumulated depreciation of 180. And what I notice is it's less than the accumulated depreciation. Therefore, this gain is ordinary income. Let's assume I sold this asset for 150. Now, what's special about 150? This is what's special about 150. I want you to make sure you're aware of this. 150 is up here. 150 is above, above the original cost. So let's do this. I sold the asset for 150. The basis of the asset, the basis of this asset is 40,000. My gain is 110,000. Now, how do I treat this gain? Well, here's what's gonna happen. The amount that's above the cost, which is 30,000, which is this amount here, above the original cost, is capital gain, long-term capital gain, capital gain subject to 10, 0, 10, uh, sorry, 0, 15 or 20%. And the 80,000 remaining, again, we go back to this 80,000 of depreciation. The point I am trying to make is this, any depreciation recapture is considered ordinary income. So this is good because I work various scenarios with you. Now, the forklift, I have a loss. Well, given the, the result of a loss, the depreciation does not apply the depreciation recapture. The loss is section 1231 loss, which is goes against ordinary income. The vehicle, the same thing. It's a loss. The loss is ordinary income section 1231. Assuming, let's assume there's no recapture, neck, there's non-recaptured section 1231 losses of 5,000 from the prior year. De de determine the amount of the gain to be treated as capital gain. There is no capital gain in this example. There is no capital gain. So we, we're not going to use this 5,000. There is no capital gain because the gain that we experienced by selling the forklift of 10,000, we treated it as ordinary income. And I showed you the capital gain is only usually occur for section 1245 assets is after once you sell this 1245 asset above the original cost. So this could be CPA simulation about section 1231 assets or 1245 assets. Make sure you are comfortable with this topic. What should you do? Go to Farhat Lectures to look at additional resources, multiple choice, true false, additional exercises. That's going to help you do better. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.